How do you manage debt while saving for a long-term financial goal? Let's think about this question because everything boils down to the budget. So now we have to revisit the budget again. When you go to the budget, you have line items already set there. They have their priorities and the priorities have to take over first. Now, you always end up taking a percentage of the disposable income in order to set up for long-term financial goals. What are examples of long-term financial goals? For example, you have your retirement. Retirement is a long-term financial goal. Every now and then, someone may tap into their retirement in order to repay something or use it for other purposes like housing. Uh, it could be na kayo ay nag-iipon para sa inyong retirement but because housing becomes a priority in the near future, na isasantabi yung para sa retirement ninyo. You must not forget that you are also setting a percentage for an emergency fund and you are also setting a percentage of your disposable income for your long-term financial goal. Also, if you have the ability, you also set aside a percentage in order to buy a home. So all of these are going to eat up your or consume yung inyong disposable income. So, vacation ba is more important? I would set that aside for now until we are able to recover. Remember, nagbabayad pa tayo ng utang. Manage your debts wisely. Always pick the logical way of paying it faster, sooner than later. Because remember, yung pera ninyo, pinaghihirapan ninyo, I would not want to give it to the bank. Kayo makinabang do sa inyong kinikita. That's how you prepare for a long-term financial goal.